Scientists discovered what is hidden under the ice in Alaska. A hidden world with life underneath Antarctica. Of course, yes. Scientists have done experiments in the parts of ice in Alaska and they have got big surprises. Unbelievably, they have discovered a hidden world just underneath Antarctica. Now, what scientists know about Antarctica? How did they manage to discover these terrifying discoveries of the hidden world? What happened? The answers to these questions takes us back to what scientists discovered hidden under the ice of Alaska. Welcome to this video and let's go! Now, have you ever been to Antarctica? If not, Antarctica is often considered to be not only the coldest but also the driest place in our universe. However, life continues to find its way to this iciest place on Earth. How can life be supported in this scaring place? Undoubtedly, it might be the global temperature changes that are maybe fueling the melting of the polar ice caps that have resulted to a world that is teeming with life. Did you get that right? Scientists have discovered that the hidden world is found over 1,640 feet just below the surface of the ice in Antarctica. This was after a numerous series of drilling a hole through the ice as they were carrying the research. They lowered their camera into the suspected estuary. Shockingly at the bottom, they noticed a multiple of blurry and tiny specks flashing in front of the video they had recorded. Unexpectedly, they found a swarm of tiny amphipods that were moving in front of the lens. Here, the scientist remarkably says they were not expecting to find any kind of life that is far below the surface. They add that having such hidden world beneath the Arctic ice is a clear evidence of an ecosystem just at play. According to the New Zealand oceanographer Craig Stevens and other New Zealand scientists, they thought there was something wrong as they were carrying on the experiment. But as they were focusing more and more, they abruptly noticed a swarm of arthropods about 5 millimeters in size. In this case, they discovered an underwater ecosystem of about 500 meters under the Antarctica ice. It is located in an estuary just hundreds of kilometers from the edge of the Ross Ice Shelf, one of the largest ice barriers on the White Continent. New Zealand has been supporting this climatic-driven research since 1957, whereby the scientists have discovered a hidden world beneath their feet, whereby their camera was crowded with amphipods and small marine crustaceans that resemble shrimp. Now, let's take a flight to Britain, where we will find James Smith of the British Antarctic who survived a three month of freezing temperatures, eating dehydrated food and sleeping in a tent. To be surprised, he studied the history of the floating shelf. Here, he just needed seafloor sediment that was locked under a half mile of ice. To perfect their experiment, Smith and his colleagues melted 20 tons of snow to create 20,000 liters of hot water which they pumped through a pipe lowered down through a hole. Thereafter, they lowered an instrument to collect the sediment along with a GoPro camera. They tried the experiment severally but it ended in vain. But later in one night, Smith keenly watched the footage and recognized a rather glaring problem. Definitely, the video showed a descent through 3,000 feet of blue-green ice. Probably, they were termites opening up into dark seawater. Smith reveals that after some time, the dark thing returned out to be a rock, which the camera hits with a thud, tumbling face down into the sediment. What stunned Smith is the camera quickly righted itself and scanned a strange rock. It was something that was suspected to be life. He said, It is like bloody hell. Smith illustrated the rock as one of the big boulders in the middle of a relatively flat seafloor. The rock Smith abruptly discovered is 160 miles from daylight, which is the nearest edge of the shelf where ice ends and the open ocean begins. It's hundreds of miles from the nearest location that might be not only a source of food, but also a spot that would have enough sunlight to fuel an ecosystem. This made the rocks to create a sustainable environment for the creatures. As it published in the lead author of the new study in the journal Frontiers in Marvine, Griffiths records that the rock was not the most exciting, rather it was to tell the business of life. Perhaps this meant there were strange things just beneath the ice of Alaska. Given what scientists know about currents around Antarctica, this isn't particularly far-fetched. As he said, Rich Moy, curator of invertebrate zoology and geology at the California Academy of Sciences. Rich Moy studied Antarctic sea life as he looked into how the seawater cools in the region and how it grows more dense. 
Moy said that the hidden earth sinks to the sea bottom and pushes water outward, thus radiating outward from the Antarctic. And to him, these currents are actually the germ of many, if not all. It was the current systems on our planet. As that water pushes outward, something has to fill the void. There's going to be some inflow to replace that, Moy adds. And that inflow, even over hundreds of kilometers, is going to carry organic matter. For our life forms stuck on that boulder, this would bring food. The currents could also bring new animals to add to the population on the rock. We can say for certain that these animals are living in total darkness, which is fine, plenty of deep sea critters do the same. But animals that live sessile existence on the deep sea floor must rely on a fairly steady supply of food in the form of marine snow. Every living thing swimming in the water column above must one day die, and when they do, they sink to the depths. As the corpses descend and decompose, other creatures pick at them and fling off particles, tiny morsels that accumulate even on the deepest of seafloors. According to Griffiths, the Antarctic critters on this particular rock don't live under a bustling water column. Rather, they live under a half mile of solid ice. Also, they can't roam away from their rock in search of food. He said, the worst thing in a place where there's not much food and it's very sporadic is to be something that's glued to the spot. Scientists think that it's likely that the drift of this marine snow has been flipped on its side, and as a result, food sources moving horizontally instead of vertically. The scientists claim that there are productive regions between 390 and 930 miles away. Undoubtedly, Enough organic materials are riding these currents just hundreds of miles to feed these creatures. Absolutely, this is an extraordinary distance, given that in the deepest part of the ocean. However, the Challenger Deep near Guam, marine snow produced at the surface has to fall 7 miles down to reach the seafloor. To reach the animals on this Antarctic rock, food would have to travel as much as 133 times that distance and it would have to do so by floating sideways. The scientists found that secret subterranean habitat tucked away beneath the Larsen Ice Shelf, a massive floating sheet of ice attached to the eastern coast of the Antarctic Peninsula that had famously birthed the just beneath the ice of Alaska. Satellite photos showed an unusual groove in the ice shelf close to where it met with the land and researchers identify the peculiar feature as a subsurface river. Life has been found thriving in ancient seawater trapped below Alaska's permafrost just outside the northernmost city of Alaska, underneath an expanse of white tundra. Scientists have found a rich community of microbes bathing in ancient seawater. According to a team from the University of Washington, this underground tomb of briny fluid known as a cryopeg has probably been here since at least the last ice age when the ocean receded and the abandoned seabed froze over. Additionally, cryopegs were first discovered several decades ago. Although scientists still aren't sure exactly how these structures form or even how many of them exist. Only two cryopeg regions are currently being studied for biological purposes, one in northern Alaska and the other in eastern Siberia, and both have turned up similarly high concentrations of life. Quote unquote, we're just discovering that there's a very robust microbial community, co-evolving with viruses in these ancient buried brines, says lead author and oceanographer Zachary Cooper. The scientists' discovery of the hidden world under Antarctica ice has made them to jump up and down for joy. The discovery is a remarkable one that provides the evidence of vast ecosystem beneath the ice of Alaska. Indeed, nobody had expected to find any type of life in this coldest place. The hidden world under Antarctica is so surprising in the entire world. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and share to get new updates on what scientists have discovered hidden in the ice of Alaska.